Okay, so we're going to go into sketching exam prep. We're going to click on this exam prep. And then we're going to download the file. So you want to click downloads. You want to unzip the files. So double click on the sketches, highlight, right click copy, go to your documents, and then paste it into this, this spot. Okay, so I've already pasted that, so I'm going to leave it open. Okay, I'm going to open up my inventor. It's already open. And then I'm going to have my test open right here. Okay, I'm going to hit begin exam. Okay, I'm just going to go over the, the CAD exercises and not necessarily all the multiple choice questions. Okay, so the first one is where you want to open up sketching exercise one. So we're going to go back to the my document, sketching exercise one, and double click on it and it should open up this sketch. Now we want to um, alter the sketch from 200, 250, 160 to 175. So I'm going to expand extrusion one. Sketch one, double click on that, go to 200, I'm going to change it to, I believe, 250, 250, and then um, 175. So this is going to be 175. Okay. I'm going to hit finish sketch. And then what is the surface area? So to calculate the surface area, you need to right click on sketching exercise one, click on eye properties go to physical, click on update, and it should give you mass, area, and volume. So you can highlight from here and paste the answer over. All right, the next exercise, it says to open up true length. So I'm gonna go to my document, open up true length. And here it wants you to measure the true length of A. So I'm gonna go to sketch one, going to go to dimension and I'm going to click this dimension right here. As you can see, this is only vertical. We want um, a line. So I'm going to right click and click align. Okay. And that's the number that, and I'm says, that's okay. I'm going to hit accept. And that's the number that you want to, to put down. Okay. In this exercise, we have to open carrier. So I'm going to go to document, open up carrier. And they're wanting you to match the bottom extrusion to the top or the top to the bottom, the top section. So we're going to use something called project. So in order to do that, I'm going to rotate, right click on the surface right here. I'm going to click new sketch. Okay. I'm going to go up to project geometry and I'm going to click on all of these lines right here. And then you can see that projects it up there. Click this line, click this line. Let's see, and then this line. There we go. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to go over to extrude. I'm just going to extrude the outer part, but I'm going to cut it. Okay, so that it's um, just this part right here. So now it says, what is the surface area of the base highlight top face? So this area right here. I want to measure it, so I'm going to go up to inspect, measure, and I'm just going to click on this top surface area, and it should tell you what the area is. Okay, on the next one, it says open pocket, so I'm going to go back to my documents. I'm going to open up pockets, okay? In pockets, it wants you to um, offset from all the top edges by 0.125 inches. And then via the measuring tool, what is the surface area of the part? Okay, so what is the surface area of the part? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click, right click on the top surface right here. I'm going to click new sketch. Okay, I'm going to use the function called offset. I'm going to offset this part right here. So it doesn't really matter what's at right now. We're going to dimension it. So from this to this. Okay, so that's going to be, I believe, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, okay, and now I need to know how far to extrude it out down. So I'm going to go to, let's see, this extrusion, nope, that doesn't have it, maybe this extrusion, yes. So this extrusion tells me that it's been extruded 0.5, so that's the distance that I'm going to extrude. 
um, this right here. So I'm going to go to 3D model, click extrude, I'm going to extrude this piece in the opposite direction, distance 0.5, and hit OK. Okay. And then now I should have everything as is. So now I want to measure the surface area. Okay, so I'm going to go eye properties and surface area of the part physical update and you should have the area you can copy it if you need to i would include all the numbers all right so this one says open modify sketch and it says edit the sketch for the extrusion and fully constrain the sketch using sketch constraints only the top and bottom line should be horizontal so as you can see the three segments around the top should be perpendicular and the circle should be concentric with the fillet on the upper left and then you're looking at the mass. So you want the eye properties as well. And the mass should be in pound, okay? So we're gonna go over to our document and we're gonna click on Modify Sketch. So once we get a Modify Sketch, I'm gonna open up Extrusion 1 with the plus bar and click on Sketch 1. So now from Sketch 1, I'm going to go ahead and change all of the um, information on here so that it matches what I need, okay? So this is 2.5 to 2.5, this is 5, this is 2, and so on, okay? So the top and the bottom should be, let's see, the top and bottom line should be horizontal. So I'm going to go up to my horizontal constraint. I'm going to click the horizontal and then the horizontal, okay? The three segments around the tab should be perpendicular. So this, these lines need to be perpendicular to each other. So I'm going to go up to perpendicular constraint and make these two perpendicular and then these two perpendicular. Okay. And then the circle should be concentric with the fillet on the upper left. So I'm going to grab the concentric constraint right here and I'm going to click the circle with the fillet and then they are um, they share the same center point for it to be concentric all right so then everything looks good I'm going to finish my sketch and then I need the mass so right click on the name of the sketch you can actually go down here as well and click I 